Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We are coming at you from Guadalupe River State Park in Bourne, Texas, I believe is the name, but it is just north and a little bit west of San Antonio. Uh, now we're out of San Antonio? Uh, well, depending on where you are, it takes an hour to get out of San Antonio. <laughs> but um, if you were going to San Antonio to see the river walk and see the Alamo, this might be a good place to stay. Exactly. Um, we are here the first full week of November. Yes. And... I'm going to tell you it's gorgeous, but I'll also tell you we've been having uh, rain and clouds with peaks of sunshine coming through. We are in site 85, and you're going to see there is a road <laughs> just on the other side of us. And when we chose this site, we were a little concerned about, uh, is that going to be... No, it's not. At night, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's really no big deal with the road, uh, but... This is the main road. We'll show you the map of the park. Um, there are three camping loops. And this is the main road that goes down to the river and the day use area there. We're in Turkey Sink. <laughs> and I got to tell you, that day use area is well used. Yes. Very well used. But let's talk camping first. As you come in, it takes about a mile and a half to get to yes. that first uh, camping loop. And... Folks, it says no RVs over 20 feet long. If you can hear the noise in the background, they're actually trimming trees yes. back behind us on a power line. So that's not normal. But um, when they say that it's no RVs over 20 feet long, the title to ours says it's 21 feet. It's actually 2111. We talked about trying to get in there. There are a lot of casitas that were over there. Yes. Basically casitas. We saw a small Airstream and an old retro. Uh, but other than that was tents. And those sites, the, there are two parking spots. I like that. And while we could have done it, by the time we put our little slide out, it would have been right next to the van. Um, no circulation, <laughs> circulation, things like that. And um, this is a, we're in a gorgeous site. Actually, Spacious. from here, we can see a couple of RVs across from us. Those are park hosts. <laughs> um, but we have loved this site. And we love this park. <laughs> yeah, and I will say... It's our first time here. And it has been I would say actually cloudy with peaks of sunshine instead of sunny, partly cloudy. Yes. I'd say it was cloudy, partly sunny. Um, but it's the leaves are changing. It is beautiful. And it is South Texas. You may need sweatshirts tomorrow, but since we've been here, we've been in shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's front coming through, and it's going to get down in the 30s, 20s. But anyway, camping. That first loop, like I said, small RVs. Unless you're 20 feet or under, it's best to stay out of there. And if you have a slide, then once again, consider that because you're going to be parking next to your RV. The loop, and I don't remember, I think there are 35 sites over there. We'll look at that map I'm showing you. But then this loop is 50 amp, it's $5 a night more, but you have room. And look at the dimensions. There are a couple of excess parking areas in here. They may not be right next to your campsite, but there are some. And then the third loop is walk-in, and that really is walk-in. Yes. You park, and then you take your things back in there, and it's gorgeous. It's I mean, it is really absolutely. pretty. Absolutely. Um, we we rode our bikes up there yesterday. It's 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 phenomenal. But for these RV sites, um, the restrooms have been redone at some point. Yes. They are very nice. And I just heard someone say that during this time of year, during the week, they only have two showers 
open. That way they're not having to clean all of the showers yes. when they're really not being used that much. Um, and then men, men and women's restrooms and a sink to wash dishes in, uh, water, water bottle, bottle filling refill. station, yeah. water fountain. And then another thing we want to talk about, um, the paths, the trails, um, the Discovery Center and everything down at the river, the uh, a ranger told us that's open even in the rain that you can use those trails there. I have to tell you, it's, it's not been hot while we've been here. It's 80. 80, but there have been little kids splashing in the Guadalupe River every day. There were kids swimming in it shine. yesterday. <laughs> kids swimming in it yesterday. Um, but the other trails we had wanted to get out on, there's some that are hike, bike, equestrian, and we'd really wanted to get out there. But they close them, which is a great idea because it keeps the trails from being, uh, from being deteriorating. That's <laughs> because people would be out there using them, uh, and so they, people on bikes would put ruts in. Them. Well, and horses, and so the day after it had rained Sunday night, they were closed all day Monday. Yesterday they opened them to foot traffic but no bikes or uh, yeah, or, or horses and so uh, it rained, actually rained again last night so I'm assuming it's completely closed again but I think there are around 13 miles of trails probably more than that because right here in our campground I walk down that trail. You don't have to go out uh, far to a trailhead and yeah. then the wilderness area just on the other side of the river is actually part of this. And the ranger said, and the information says, if you want a more primitive can uh, hiking experience to go there. Yeah. Uh, that day use area, though, it's, it's used. It is used extensively. We got in on Sunday, and it was... The it, parking it lot was out a lot because we didn't ride until about 4:30 or yeah. 5. Well, about 4:30 or so. But um, then there is fishing, and once again, if you're fishing from the bank, we're in a state park. As long as you stay within the boundaries of the state park, you do not need a fishing license. Um, I went yesterday, had a great time, <laughs> caught I have no idea how many sunfish, and. I'll just tell you when I'm fishing, I do this with crappie and I do this sometimes with sunfish, is I'll have two different hooks at a different, so, so that if I'm not positive where they are in the water column, and for only the third time in my life, I doubled up and had a fish on each hook. <laughs> you get to see that. I hope that video turned out. Uh, but I actually had a bass. There is a Guadalupe bass. I don't know if it was Guadalupe or not, but it was on that little hook. And I broke off. It was a bass. I saw him jump. It was a bass. It was a big bass. I was so excited. But uh, it was on that little bitty hook, so who knows. But they say there are catfish out there as well. So if you're into fishing, you know, that's an option. But just riding the roads. We haven't gotten out on any trails on our bikes, but just riding the roads, we've had a great time. The closest thing we did was go through the camping loop that's primitive. Yeah, and yeah. it's not really primitive it's well just, it's it's walk-in yes. but it's it's not hike-in you're parked right there you're depending on which site you have yes. you know you're not having to you're not having to load everything in a backpack and hike a couple of miles to get to your campsite which spoiler alert the next place we go to <laughs> uh, that's kind of what they're what they're looking at but this is a beautiful park and I will tell you this, if you're coming in the summer... Be sure you have reservations. This place is full most of the summer. Absolutely. And then what I was going to say is, this is one where I would definitely go to Google Earth. Make sure you're looking north and south so you'll know where that afternoon sun is. And make sure you're going to have shade. Uh, because while we... Folks, this is November and we're in shorts. And yes. t-shirts. July, it's going to be... August? It's going to be nothing but... furnace. <laughs> it, it's going to be steamy. 
And so, uh, you know, you want to check that out. And I wanted to mention, in the summer, lots of people tube or kayak or the river. And there is a sign that tells you, you kayak as far as you want, but the river does not run it's in not a circle. circle. That's on the map as well. Uh, first time we saw that was at a park we're going to revisit here in a few days, and that's South Llano River. And it does say the river is not a circle. Because if you... I guess people who go to water parks, I they guess. have like the lazy river. Well, the lazy river there is a circle. This is a river river, and it's not a circle. So... If you get down there, you gotta have a way to get back up. Yeah, you wanna you wanna just kind of as a as a rule of thumb, paddle upstream first. Let it bring you back to where you came in. <clears throat> if you wanted to go again, paddle upstream again and let it bring you back. But yeah, I saw quite a few people down there with kayaks yesterday, uh, and you know you can kayak quite a ways. I have no idea how far. I don't know. But. Uh, but anyway, this is, even with rain every night, it sprinkles every day, whatever, we had We've a wonderful, had a oh, great time. wildlife, armadillo and deer. Yesterday <sighs> morning, over where they're trimming all this stuff, uh, I was walking and I saw a, a, a buck and he had, I, I'm not a hunter, I'd never seen a deer with a rack this large in my life. I'm sure it was an eight point. I tried to count, but he was moving. And as he walked, he had to lean his head back so that he didn't get hung up in the trees. He was gorgeous. But I mean, that rack was probably three feet high. It was massive. It was very, very large. And, and, don't and next week, is it, well, not yes, next week. Starting Thursday. Thursday is when we have to leave because the park is being shut for a hunt. And they do that in the Texas State Parks. Once, they have to, to thin out some of the wildlife. Once a year or once every other year, they'll shut them down and have a hunt. And you have to have a, you have to register and I be think, chosen yes. to be a part of the hunt for that park. Uh, we don't know we don't hunt, but I've, we've been to enough park headquarters when they're doing that process that I think that's what I've understood. But anyway, we have loved being here. It is a beautiful park, and, you know, I'd love to come back, but I'd love to come back at about this time yes. of year. Yes, yes. Uh, because the those uh, bald cypress trees, I think that's what they are, the colors are just vivid down there, and it is beautiful. And It's reds like we don't normally see in Texas. It's beautiful. And so, anyway... Um, this is part of our Hill Country in the Fall uh, series, and we're going to have some other parks along with that, and uh, we hope you'll check those out as well. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired, Tired Teachers. Teachers. And all of this sawing has not been going no, on. This has been just quiet. started today. <laughs> uh, but like, there are power lines back there, yeah. and they're getting the limbs off of them. But listen. There. That's what we've been hearing.